Welcome back. Now that we have set up a basic tab navigator, let's look at some of the options we can specify. Let's start with screen options on the tab navigator. First, we have tab bar label position. By default, it is set to below icon, which is what you see currently. Label below the icon. We can change this to beside icon. And label is now to the right of the icon. Typically, below icon is set for mobile devices and beside icon for iPad and tablets. Let's stick with below icon as we are dealing with two mobile devices. The next option is tab bar, show label. This is set to true by default. If we set it to false, the tab label is hidden and only the icon is displayed. We do want the label, so I will flip it back to true. Next, we have tab bar active tint color, which sets the active tab font color. Let's set it to purple. You can see the new purple color being reflected. There is also tab bar inactive color, inactive tint color, which applies the color for inactive tabs. It is set to gray by default, but you can go ahead and change it based on your theme. Next, let's move on to the tab screen options. By default, the tab screen name is rendered as the tab bar label. You can change that using the tab bar label option. On the profile tab.screen component, let's specify options, which is an object, and we set tab bar label to my profile. If we head back to the devices, we can see the updated tab bar label. The header title though remains the same as the name prop. Next, you would want to customize the icon in the tab. The easiest way to add icons is using Expo icons. Import ion icons from at expo slash vector icons slash ion icons. As an option, specify the tab bar icon option. This is going to return ion icons, name is equal to person, which is one of the icons present, and size is equal to 20. Take a look at the devices, and we see the person icon being rendered for profile tab. To ensure the icon picks up on the active and inactive tint color, you can destructure a color prop and assign it to the color prop on ion icons. So color is equal to color. You can see the icon is now purple or gray instead of black. Finally, you can specify tab bar badge to add a badge to the icon. This is particularly useful if you have a notifications tab or an inbox tab that requires the user's attention to items in the screen. Apart from these basic options, you have a few more which may come in handy depending on your requirements. It is also possible to define a completely custom tab bar component and pass it into React Navigation. Unless you have a lot of time to work on that, I would recommend you stick to the default bottom tab that React Navigation offers. All right, now that we have seen the three different types of navigators in React Native, in the next video, let's learn how to nest navigators. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.